I wanted to look for ways to bring my interest in uh, electronics and engineering technology into uh, play on my allotment. Um, and coupling uh, that objective with my intrinsic laziness, I thought an allotment polytunnel irrigation system might be a nice thing to play with. Of course that starts with the supply of water, so I uh, stood my water butt on pallets and rooted a hose underground to take that water into the polytunnel. Um, it's not fully buried here, but it did get fully buried later on. So now we've got a source of water in the polytunnel, let's look at the system I designed to control its delivery. We start with um, a potential divider, if it power, um, ground, a potential divider. This um, is a probe which goes in the soil and is a resistor. This is a conventional resistor. And so there'll be a voltage available here which is proportional to uh, the moisture in the soil. Moisture. Um, so we take that to a microcontroller, in this case uh, an AT Tiny 85, and we take it to an analog pin where we read the value, and then we determine what to do about it. And one of the things we can do about it, connect this to a power system, um, is to turn a tap on. So there'll be a servo, which I'll just um, connect that. This, uh, this will be a, a rotating device which turns a tap on and delivers water to the system. So that's one thing, that's uh, an output. And there's another output, which is um, a piezo crystal, which makes a noise. And there's another input, which is a potentiometer, which allows us to set the moisture level that we want to trigger on. So what the microcontroller is really doing is comparing the voltage on the soil sensor with the voltage that you set on the potentiometer um, and deciding whether or not to turn the tap on. And as you'll see, the, the piezo is used as an output device to tell you um, what the current set value is and what the current measured uh, value of the soil moisture is um, and it makes a different noise if it turns the servo on. You'll see that shortly. This then is the system in prototype form. There's a PP9 battery there uh, driving a buck converter which reduces it to 5 volts and regulates it and sends it to the breadboard. On the breadboard there's an AT Tiny85 microcontroller, um, a potential divider, and the two wires which make up the uh, soil probe. The round thing there is the piezo speaker. The system tells you what it's doing through the piezo crystal and a sound interface. It's quite simple. Um, when it's in the monitoring phase, it bleeps one number between 1 and 9 to tell you what moisture level you set using the potentiometer, and it bleeps another number between 1 and 9 to tell you what moisture level it's just read from the soil. Um, and if those um, values compared suggest the tap should be turned on, then it makes another noise to tell you that it's about to do that. So the concept is proved, I packaged it um, and installed it like this. With a solar panel, which collects the sun through the policy. Makes the power around this cable in the ridge. Anyway, let's have a little look. This is the brains. Find the solar drive. Turn the tap on. Comes out. So you get the basic idea, the system was installed and it worked. However, um, whilst I proved the concept, the system did not go live and there are a couple of reasons really. Firstly, the system's underpowered. The servos really struggle to move that ball valve, um, so I need a tap which doesn't leak but which is not so hard to turn or else I need a gearing mechanism. Secondly, the system's unreliable 
Um, principally because of poor filtering of the water from the water butt. Um, the smallest amounts of leaf debris in the ball valve would lock it up entirely and so that's not a suitable way to proceed. And finally the system was fragile um, in the hostile environment of the polytunnel. Moisture would cause problems with the battery and with the electronics and of course the breadboard is not really a sensible way to go for a final installation. Still, concept proved and this is certainly something I'll take forward in the future.